Hurricane Sally is moving slowly over the Gulf Coast, and the storm made landfall as a Category 2 hurricane earlier this morning. Yeah, we'll take you to the Gulf Coast here for a closer look at the damage in just a minute. But first, we want to get to meteorologist Bill Ray, who is showing us exactly where Sally is right now. Bill. Yeah, what we've got is the storm inland, definitely came inland uh, north of Pensacola. There's the eye of the storm. All the heavy rain now moving through Dauphin and moving up to Montgomery and Columbus getting the edge of the rain but the heavy stuff still in southern Alabama and the panhandle of Florida Panama City getting a break on the rain where they have over feet of rain there and the storm came ashore earlier this morning right on uh, right in the southeastern part of Alabama so here's where it is at noon it is still a hurricane just hanging on to that strength, but it'll become a tropical storm by uh, this evening, if not a little sooner. We'll keep watching that this afternoon. Then a tropical depression, and then just a non-tropical low. This low is going to just scoot right through the southern part of our state and out to sea with the help of a cold front Friday morning. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking, at least on some of my computer models, that this low will probably be somewhere over southeastern North Carolina by Friday morning, 8 o'clock. I think the Hurricane Center is a little slow on their map. We'll see if that uh, verifies or not. Anyway, anyway, you slice it. It. We're going to see Thursday and Friday up to two to six inches of rain all over central North Carolina. So we have the flash flood watch that's out for Thursday, Thursday night, and into Friday. And obviously what's going to happen is if we get those heavy downpours for sustained periods of time, poor drainage, low-lying urban areas could flood. You know, Crabtree Creek, I'm talking to you. Uh, you're probably going to see some flooding. So there'll probably be some flash flooding. Then eventually the creeks and streams will go into the river. So we'll probably have some river flooding uh, over the weekend on some of the big rivers if we get two to six inches of rain. So the big picture again, I think we're going to go back. I think I got this going back. That's why I was working on, well, no, I'm only going back an hour. I didn't save it. I had it going back six hours to show it coming ashore in Alabama around 545 this morning. But it is just moving so, so slowly. I mean, you can walk as fast as the storm is moving. But all the worst weather is to the northeast of the storm now, moving away from the coast. 